E numbers in it. We can't eat that. As consumers, we become quite critical of what our food contains. We will not just eat anything, especially if it has some weird name listed that we've never heard of. But actually, what are these mysterious E numbers? Are they harmful? And what happens if we get too many of them? Yes, sometimes we've heard various theories about how producers are trying to hide harmful substances by giving them a number. However, that's actually just a myth. The true story is that additives with an E number are only approved by the authorities after they have been checked that they are safe. An E number is actually the consumer's assurance that they're not harmful. You find additives in almost all processed foods. They are used to give food flavor, color, texture, and a long shelf life. And many additives are actually quite common, well-known household ingredients, such as gravy browning, E150, baking powder, E503, and citric acid, E330. For an additive or ingredient to have an E number, it is required to have undergone thorough testing and subsequent approval at an EU level. Even the slightest doubt means it will not get an E number. So, in fact, an E number is our assurance that the ingredient is thoroughly tested and completely safe. It is a reversed situation, thank goodness. But isn't there something special about E numbers causing allergies and making children hyperactive? It's dangerous. No, because that is exactly what's been investigated by the authorities before they approve an additive. An allergy is something that some people have towards ordinary foods such as nuts, soya, eggs and wheat flour. It is not triggered by E numbers. Yet it can also be that some people seem to have an allergic reaction to E numbers. This is caused by an allergy to the ingredient behind the numbers and then they will be reported as allergenes. But why have we actually given some ingredients such uh, robotic names? After all, that's the whole problem. There actually is a pretty good explanation for that. As E numbers apply throughout Europe, it was decided that they would start with an E, which, yes, you've probably guessed it, is an abbreviation for European. Duh. For each number, there is an accurate description of just what type of an additive it is so that no one is in doubt about which additive is involved. The same numbering system is now used throughout the world. The smart thing by assigning additive numbers is that it makes it quite clear to everyone what is in the products, regardless of where the products come from. All quite logical and good, if you think about it.